Well, MoveX ICT have developed an offline learning solution called Digital Library. This device carries the whole syllabus from grade 1 up to matric. Now, all this can be accessed through a mobile application offline without one paying for internet bundles. MoveX ICT encourages learners to study at their own pace and has produced the best learner in the province in 2018 and 550 distinctions in 2020. The organization has created 14 full-time jobs and 21 part-time jobs to date. Joining me is Excellent Mubango, the director of MoveX ICT. A very good afternoon to you and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Well, Excellent, how was MoveX ICT conceived? Uh, MoveX ICT was started in the year 2016 after I realized that everything is changing into this technology space, but not in our education or in our day-to-day -day teaching and learning. So I decided to come up with something that will uh, spice up the day-to-day -day teaching and learning uh, and, and, and uplift it and, and make sure that learners are studying at their own space, at their own pace using technology. Tell us a bit more about this offline learning solution that you call a digital library. Okay, basically, Digital Library is a device. This device carries the whole content from grade 1 up until grade 12. Uh, the content includes video lessons of teachers teaching. This simply means that if a, a, a learner is doing uh, mathematics, they can actually go and watch videos of mathematics, trigonometry, until they understand at their own space, at their own time, without paying for internet bundles. We've got e-books, previous question papers, and handy notes. So this thing is actually accessed offline because we realize that we really have a serious problem in the country of connectivity, especially in rural areas where I'm basically located. So we needed to make this to be more accessible to all the learners at ease and give them the online experience offline. So when you say it's a, it's a, it's a device, is it a, a hardware device uh, similar to a tablet or a computer that you'd physically load the syllabus into and then hand it over to a learner? Uh, basically, a digital, digital library is a device which is more like a server, it's a hub. But however, it's connected to a mobile application. You can only access it through a mobile application where you can connect and download content. Or we can actually preload the content to the tablet and give to a learner. So for a school setup, we actually give the, the whole server, which is a digital library. But for individual parents, uh, individuals, we actually preload the content from the library and give you a tablet, and then you can be able to also access it offline. I mean, seeing that it's accessible offline and one only doesn't even have to have internet to access it, how are you able to cover the cost of providing the service? Uh, what, what happens then is uh, when you're developing, uh, when you're developing your, your, your stuff, you can choose whether you want to upload it all online or you want to uh, keep it offline. So with us, it was a method of getting it to be offline. The, the, the digital library communicates with our mobile application using something called the local area, local area network. However, once it's downloaded to the device, it's downloaded. You can actually watch it uh, wire wire without any 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 glitch. And what successes have you had since the inception of this program? Uh, the successes it's been it's been quite a journey. Eh? Um, in the year 2018, we actually produced the best learner in the province uh, in Limpopo. And then the year 2019, we got we had so many uh, distinctions. I, I can recall the one for for 2020 for 2020 which is about 550 distinctions that we, we produced. And uh, we've, we've had schools that were dysfunctional, that were not performing. And after using this program, because what, what, what we're basically doing is we're giving them what is going to be taught in school inside a tablet. So we give learners convenience. We give them you know, accessibility. We, 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 we give them all that at, to, for them to study at their own pace. And then with our system, we actually prepare their minds for tertiary education because they don't actually wait for them to be spoon-fed by a teacher. They can actually uh, do self-study on their own. When they do not understand, they can actually consult their teacher and, and, and find out uh, that I was actually learning in this topic. Maybe it's trigonometry. I do not understand when it comes to this part. And then it makes our, jo uh, jo uh, makes our, our teacher's jobs very easy as well. They're actually commanding it. So teachers are actually excited to, to use the system. Teachers are actually excited to use the system and then uh, it's, it's, it's got, you know, yeah, I think with the feedback that we're receiving from our educators that are using it, it's quite, quite uh, overwhelming. It's, it's, it's humbling. I'm, I'm actually humbled. Well, tell us about the CSI campaign that uh, is meant to help these schools. You mentioned that you actually also want to help dysfunctional schools uh, this year. Okay, uh, with the COVID-19 pandemic, nobody was prepared for it. I realized that schools were caught off guard just like 
us and business were caught off guard. And one of the biggest things that was disrupted was the day-to-day -day learning and teaching. So we, did, we decided to develop um, a digital classroom. It's basically a classroom, but in an online space. So we give you the, 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 the online, the, 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 the classroom experience online. So with this digital classroom, as a teacher, you can be able to upload your uh, multimedia content that you, if you're supposed to be teaching in this period, uh, uh, accounting, for instance, bank reconciliation statement, you can actually upload a content or a video uh, of that lesson or that topic that you want to cover on that day. And kids on the other end, they can be able to access that video and still get to learn. And then with that as well, you've got uh, thousands of ebooks and open source resources that are available on the system wherein we actually given this to schools for free and our system is very easy you can you know integrate it very well with other systems like your microsoft teams and then google classroom and other stuff so we're giving this to schools for free as a form of giving back to the community you know to say education must go on whether covid 19 or no covid 19 education must go on day-to-day -day te teaching and learning must go on so that's our mandate. That's what we believe in. And that's why we, we're going all out to actually um, make sure that schools in remote areas, we're giving them this platform. And also adding to that, also be giving learners SIM cards that will, be able, that will give them access to this particular system. So we managed to uh, reach an agreement with a local network, a telecommunication company to actually give us a SIM card that actually will, be, will, will actually access the system at ease. And uh, just, just, just thinking about the process now, from the time that a specific school gives you their curriculum or their, their syllabus for grade one all the way up to matric, how long does it take to configure all of that into this online platform? Okay, into this online platform, what happens then is you go, uh, uh, you, you contact us that you want the system and then we create a portal for you. It's, it's cloud-based. We create a portal for you. As an educator, you're going to have a, a portal where you can be able to create a, 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 a a group or a classroom for your learners. And once you upload that um, content, it goes to the dashboard of all your learners. So each and every learner is going to be having our application on the other end. So our job mainly here is just to create, system, create the system, train educators on how it works, and then we get, we get the ball rolling. They upload their own content. They still, re, they still interact. This is purely different to our own existing system where we've got teachers that we've worked with. But with this one, learners will be working with the teachers that they normally, uh, you know, that they, they work with on a day-to-day -day basis. And, and, you know, their teachers will be uploading content and they'll be getting on the other side and then teaching will be going on. Well, let's leave it there for this afternoon. Uh, commendable work that you are doing there trying to actually help dysfunctional schools in the nation and make sure that actually uh, students are able to continue learning even throughout the pandemic. That was excellent, Mubango, who is the MUVIX ICT director.